Hi, good afternoon. Uh, this will be a updated version or updated copy of my uh, one of my previous tutorials regarding hues or converting the high hues uh, over to a dust character and more specifically to a um, character that has a custom morph attached to it. Like in this case, I have a character that has a, a custom morph uh, onto it so my previous tutorial doesn't really isn't really very uh, suitable for custom morph because all kinds of things can go wrong in that case so now uh i, I actually found an easier way to deal with it right so uh first you have your character then you have your your outfit or, or your shoe or your heels uh, in this case, I have this um, boots that is that has a, a heel attached to it or, or high sole. So uh, first step is that you import both the morph and the character plus the shoe OBJ. Okay, then uh, next you want to determine the angle or the the um, how how much uh, how far your the feet will bend. So in this case, uh, you go to the pose control. Uh, this should be in the default pose control, so everybody should have this. And you have a heel, uh, left foot, heel shoes section. So you can dial this in all the way to 100, which is way too much. So we are looking, in this case, I'm uh, looking roughly around 50, uh, around 50. Right, so you do that for both hues, so 50 and 50. Uh, yeah, so you will need to fix the, the back hue part uh, in Blender later. This is just to determine the angle as well as to uh, transfer the morphs over or transfer the 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 morph over to the shoe to make it um compatible with dust poses right so next what you want to do after you got this figure is you come to this uh currently used section and select the character and the currently used and you make sure that you have uh, uh where is it Make sure that you have show hidden properties uh, ticked so that you can see this section right here. Uh, I'm sorry, currently used. So you can see this section right here. These are usually hidden uh, and will only be shown if the shown hidden properties is thick, right? Then uh, take a screenshot of this because we are going to zero this out. Okay, so take a screenshot and uh, keep it somewhere so you can see it. Okay. Then next, what you want to do is uh, click on this uh, join editor tool. Oh, no, sorry, before that, uh, make sure that the character is selected and then edit duplicate and duplicate not notes, uh, not the note hierarchy, just the, just the note alone, right? Because previously I found out that a lot of problems came about when you try to do the next step when you have things attached side attached to the figure so say for example the eyelashes if it's attached to the, the figure then uh things will go haywire so in order to prevent it the easiest way that i found and the most straightforward way is basically to uh duplicate only the note which means to say this is a genesis 8 uh, duplicate with nothing attached to it okay so you have your morph down in but you have nothing attached to it so you can let's say for example you you've done most of the work already and uh, you have all the clothing uh, already fitted to this figure you still can continue to do this step because after you duplicate the figure uh, nothing will be attached to this particular figure and this is the one that you will want to use for the next step all right so after this the next thing you do is you right click and go to edit uh, big join rotation Okay, so after you big join rotation, you will notice that all the currently used, all the hidden properties are actually zero. 
right? So this is what you want to see because um, after this, you will be able to transfer the the moss over the join uh, what do you call that the rig uh, transfer it over okay so but before that you want to dial in all the hidden nodes again i am not exactly sure why uh, at this point because uh, this is uh, how the dust uh, own tutorial they said to do this right so uh, basically i'm just following according to what they uh, they showed me uh, the, the original tutorial that I was following. Okay, so now uh, just dial in the numbers back into the figure. Okay, so now you have all this dialed in. Next, you uh, click on this uh, transfer utility and transfer the utility to the shoe. So make sure that you, uh, the one that you have selected is your duplicated uh figure and then the boot then current item shape current and because you have a custom custom morph attached to this so you do a reverse source shape from target as well okay then you let it run the boots should go a little bit haywire that is very normal so next what you want to do is to select the boots Okay, now you zero out again uh, all the dials that all the hidden moss that was previously dialed in to the boots, right? So now you see it's roughly the same as uh, before the the uh, before you mess around with the conversion, right? And then what you do next is to fit the shoe to the original figure to the the to the first genesis figure so you fit that in okay and then you can delete off this already and uh, you can unhide your the, the boots so now you have for the the boots uh, attached to your original figure and after that to finalize the the conversion you put in the morph of the original morph uh, of the boots original model right and that would make it uh that that, that would basically complete the um, boots conversion then now you can actually do the pose you can move the the feet and your heels will follow along so this is a updated tutorial a very very quick uh tutorial to basically show everybody a little bit of what i've learned uh messing around with so many hues just a little tips kind of video <laughs> yeah so uh thanks for watching uh see you next tutorial or next live stream whenever that happens okay uh bye bye